Shri Chatter now. Nimesh is joining in for a complete insight into dealing room chatter and what they're doing on what's turning out to be a fairly brutal day. Nimesh? Absolutely. A brutal day, a brutal week and maybe a brutal month as well. So a big, big correction just before the Diwali. And I actually, to some extent, I, I guess it spoiled the Diwali as well for a lot of traders and a lot of momentum investors, uh, frankly, Rima. Uh, again, you know, uh, what we're seeing is a clear signs of capitulation now, especially in the broader markets. The Nifty is down almost, uh, the, the mid-cap index is down uh, to, uh, to almost 2.5%. The broader markets are down. Uh, the stocks are individually down 8, 10, 15 percent and all. And clearly now, after the 10 percent fall in the mid-cap index, looks like the, it's in a it's in a correction mode. So that's the that's clearly been visible. Having said that, you know, I've been saying for a, for the last many days now that there has been a, aggressive FIS selling, and within that, it's the long-only funds who have been aggressive sellers. But for today, uh, the buy-sell ratio is close to one is to one. So it's even Stevens. So uh, again, you know, the, the feedback seems to be that that today's fall is not led by led by very large FIS selling. Yes, the FIS selling continues, but it's matched by DI buying, and also the intensity seems to be quite low. That explains that you know there is a lot of uh, capitulation, a lot of selling or lack of buying interest from la larger HNIs and retail investors which have been supporting the broader markets in the last many uh, weeks and months. So that clearly seems to be the pain point now as far as the markets are concerned. Technically, we've broken the very crucial support of 2200 on the, on, the, uh, uh, on the downside. So that was one level which a lot of bulls uh, expected that will be protected. That's not been the case. So again, from a technical point of view, you heard Lawrence Belanco as well. Uh, there is a further gap for the markets to fill and to fall further. So uh, the momentum is clearly on the downside now. And you know, again, the, the other feedback is, Rima, clearly now the money is chasing quality over momentum and value. So th that space will, will, will be further under pressure, at least in the time being, and the quarterly earnings are just not supportive. So the all, all, all put together, uh, the broader market pain could continue, but, the, but the, from a flow perspective, the intensity seems to be quite lower in today's market from FIS. What about uh, stocks, Nimesh? So in terms of individual names, the first stock is uh, Indian hotels. In a weak market, that stock is relatively outperforming up to what percent. Volumes are on the higher side. I believe there is interest back in that particular name. So the, the, there is delivery-based buying happening from larger FIs. And additionally, there was a Mangan Sally note in the morning today. Uh, they've raised the target price and they've added the stock in terms of uh, the, the you know, technical buy as well. So that explains that uh, in a weak market, uh, uh, in a, in a Indian hotels is doing good today. The second name is sale. Uh, the metal names are under pressure, but sale stands out and back of aggressive selling pressure from larger FIs. So it looks like there is a bit of uh, profit picking now from domestic funds in sale. And the last is Mahindra and Mahindra. For the last three days, that stock is under, under tremendous pressure, volumes on the highest side. I understand some long only funds are active, uh, very active, aggressive sellers. But at the same time, there is a bit of buying happening from domestic mutual funds as well. And for a while, uh, in, for, as far as MNM is concerned, there has been an indication or a buzz of some corporate development as well. So yes, there is selling in in, in M and M, but uh, equally uh, there is a bit of buying at lower levels from domestic funds. Okay, thank you very much. Uh,